Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you the 5 things to not do in a coding interview. Also this video is a part of my placement preparation playlist, I will give a link to that in the description, which is all about how to crack your dream placement. So do subscribe to the channel and look out for more videos and let's get started. So the goal of a coding interview is to impress the interviewer of your knowledge and your coding skills so that he is satisfied. And to do that you should avoid making certain mistakes while coding. So I have for you the 5 things to not do or avoid doing in your coding interview. So let's get into the list. First thing that you should avoid doing is changing the programming language while in the middle of coding. So obviously if the interviewer asks you to change the programming language then you should do that. But otherwise suppose you are coding a problem and you are using Java. And you do not know certain concept in Java because of that you switch to C++. So that looks really unprofessional. So you should avoid doing that. So if you are using Java, make sure that you know each and every concept in Java so you don't have to switch. Or suppose if you are using C++, make sure that you know each and every concept in C++ so you don't have to switch. Whatever language you are using, make sure you have mastery over that. And avoid changing programming language in the middle of coding due to lack of knowledge. If the interviewer asks you to, definitely go ahead and change the programming language. Next mistake that you should avoid having, avoid doing is having no checkpoints in the code. So the thing is that the interviewer has a limited amount of time to judge your coding skills. So the interviewer might get 45 minutes, an hour, an hour and a half and in that he has to do everything. So what you should do is you should have certain checkpoints. Otherwise what will happen is uh, you write all the code in one go and in the end you get wrong answer. So you will spend a lot of time figuring out where the code went wrong. And like I said the interviewer has a limited amount of time. So to avoid wasting time have certain checkpoints. So what you should do, write some code, then have a checkpoint as in compile and see if you are getting the output which you should be getting. Again write some code and again check whether you are sh getting the output that you should be getting. So have checkpoints in your code. Avoid writing everything in one go otherwise you might get wrong answer and you will not be able to figure out where the bug or where the problem in the code is. So have checkpoints. Have certain checkpoints in your code where you check whether the code is working correctly or not. Okay. Next thing that you should avoid doing is coding the brute force. So when the interviewer gives you a problem, obviously you should put forward the brute force approach but avoid coding it as it will just end up wasting your and the interviewer's time. If the interviewer asks you to code the brute force then you should do that. Otherwise think of a better approach while coding. Do not code the brute force. Tell the brute force correct but do not code the brute force that will just waste time. Think of a better approach while coding the problem. Okay. Next up, you should avoid having no knowledge of library. So this is, a lot of people do this mistake. They have no knowledge of the library of the language that, you, that they are using. So for example, if you are using Java, Java has collections, right? So you have collections.sort. So you have collections.sort or you have arrays.sort. So you should know what it's doing. Okay. So for example, if you use arrays.sort, the interviewer might ask you, okay, what does this line of code do? How does the sort work? So you should know what it's doing. You should have knowledge of this. Or for example, C++ has STL, right? So you should know what this does. So if you use this STL, if you use this, then you should know what it's doing. You should know all, you should know what the library function, library methods are doing because the interview might ask you. So you should have proper knowledge of the library of the language that you're using. Java, you have collections, C++, you have STL. So you should know how it's actually working, okay? Next mistake a lot of people do is that not explaining while coding. Okay, so the goal isn't to get the answer correct. Obviously you want to get the answer correct, but the goal is that the interviewer understands your approach and the interviewer is satisfied with your approach. So for that, when you're coding, make sure you explain your code. So the interviewer should be satisfied with your approach, the interviewer should understand your approach. That's equally as important as getting the answer correct. So while you're coding, explain the code. So when you're writing the code, whatever piece of line, whatever piece of code you're writing, explain it. Okay, you should be talking to the interviewer instead of, you know, you just coding the problem on your own. You should let the interviewer know your thought process. You should know, let the interviewer know what you're thinking while coding. So that's equally as important. Make sure that the interviewer understands your approach. So explain while you're coding. Okay. And so that's it. These are the five things that you should not do in coding interview. You should avoid changing the programming language unless the interview asks you to. You should avoid having no checkpoints. So you should have checkpoints. You should avoid coding, coding the brute force. You should think of a better approach. And you should avoid having no knowledge of library. So have proper knowledge of library of the language you're using. And you should avoid doing this. 
not explaining while coding. So what you should do is you should explain the code while you're coding. Okay. And one bonus tip, which everyone knows, but still let me get into it, is writing clean code. So the code that you write shows your thought process, shows how structured your way of thinking is. So write clean and structured code. How to do that? Simple. Use functions. So a lot of people don't do this. So use functions and methods. Instead of writing everything in just one int main, instead of writing everything in one main class, have no the use functions, use methods. Okay, don't write everything in one int main, don't write everything in one class if you're using Java. Use different functions, use different methods to make sure that your code is structured, to make sure that your code is neat, clean, and easy to understand. So that's it guys. These are the things that you should not do and instead what you should do in coding interview for the best chance of selection. So that's it guys. Thank you.